<laughs> Hi, I'm Jody, and this is my small group story. January of last year, I started a small group through Hope with a friend of mine. We were really doing what we could to get it kicked off, and God really came through. It was amazing. We had women that we didn't even know show up to our first meeting. They came through a friend of a friend, and the group just took off, and it became this beautiful, wonderful community of these Christian sisters that could get together every day, and we truly shared life together. So it was this amazing, amazing thing, and then another amazing thing happened throughout the year. I got pregnant with my first child, and my husband and I were getting ready to have a baby. So leading this group, I'm getting ready to take this this step out, you know, but we've got this nine month preparation and over the time, you know, all these women are growing in their faith and they're, they're really growing in their responsibilities in Christ, but there wasn't a clear leader stepping up that, you know, I'm getting ready to go out, someone that would take over this place and really lead the group. And in a matter of, I'm not kidding, from, from one group meeting to the next, so one week, one week difference, we had the entire group carrying on. And there is this sense of, of nervousness when they were talking to me about it, but all I could do as a leader was just encourage them and just tell them, look, I know you can do this. I know you can because it's God that leads the group. You know, you just have to submit. You just have to let go and let him come in there and see what he's gonna do and just, just allow it to happen. And so. That's what I wanted to see. I mean, I, I love leading the group, but it, you just are so proud when you know that you can just disappear and they're gonna be fine. And so I do, I encourage people who join small groups, you know, put into it, open up, don't be afraid. And I encourage that to leaders as well. If you're thinking about leading a group and you've prayed about it and you think that God is calling you, then the only person standing in your way is you because He's gonna do it. He's just asking you to let him.